Hi everybody, Father Bill. I'm right now at the University of Portland and I just was at a meeting with Ashley, our principal, who with uh, other principals, we're having a meeting with the Archdiocese and the Department of Catholic Schools, getting prepared for the new school year. So we had mass over at Christ the Teacher Chapel. Let's see if I can uh, move over so you can see that's behind me a little bit way over there. Yeah, I'm not a good angle, but nonetheless, and we are preparing for another school year. And I would ask that you consider helping us. How do you help us? Number one, prayer. Our goal is to try to help our students encounter Jesus, to come to know God, right? To know God, not just know, know about him, but to know him personally. And it is our mission that we would be those, uh, you could say apostles, Claiming the gospel. And that would especially be in our teachers and the staff of the school, but first of all, of course, the parents. If you're a parent, know of our support and our prayers. If you're a grandparent, maybe. Oh, there go the bells. If you're a grandparent, you might have enrolled some of your kids, your grandkids, or you're helping in some way with your grandkids there here at Holy Trinity. We need your prayers. Our teachers need your support, your moral support, your, uh, you could say the support of words of kindness and love and maybe even helping out. I, of course, I'd ask you to go to the office to see where there's need for volunteers. Uh, we're coming out of COVID, things are a little different. But again, what's our mission? What's our goals? To know God. And of course we have educational uh, opportunities for our kids. This is where we have math, we have history, social studies, there's PE, there's sports and other things like that. Those are things that we certainly are doing, but it all starts with the love of God and knowing God. There's a lot of struggles going on and if we can create a firm, faith-filled foundation for our children, when they grow older, whether they are you know, steady in their faith or a little shaky as they get older or some, some might even walk away. When things are difficult, they might remember where joy and peace and love were or are. And that would be with you, the teachers that you partnered with and others so that they may return. But of course that's, you know, that's, that's good, but uh, I think it's important that we first form that foundation. And with that foundation, then they have the ability of a memory of those times. But then they'll be faithful citizens in our country, in our, our city. These are important things. That's why we exist. That's why Holy Trinity School exists, is to help form children in the faith, but in all the other areas, a holistic education. Now, if you have any questions, of course, you can always call the school and ask questions there. I'm sure Ashley would be available if you see her at Mass, any of the teachers, myself. But we're coming into a new time. It's going to be hopefully a more joy-filled uh, year because of the, you know, the reduction of COVID and some of the regulations that we've had to struggle with. But think about these things and pray about our school. Pray for our kids. That's a great way that everyone can support our school and pray for the teachers. Thanks so much. Thanks for your stewardship of faith-filled prayer. God bless you all. Bye-bye.